Artificial intelligence models are becoming faster and more similar to real intelligence with every passing day. But trouble is brewing on the horizon with hardware not being able to keep up with the rapid progress that artificial intelligence is making. That's why scientists are focused on creating computer chips specifically made for AI applications. But now, researchers have managed to create a completely new kind of computing device that resembles and acts like a real brain, that is expected to boost the performance of artificial intelligence by many orders of magnitude. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you how the researchers created this artificial brain, how it does the necessary computations to aid AI models, and finally, what possible applications this will enable in the very near future. When it comes to picking up patterns in big chunks of static data, the neural networks that underlie today's best AI systems can far exceed the human brain. They suffer, however, when there is insufficient data to learn from or when the data streams change dynamically over time. However, it is in this area that the human brain shines, prompting many academics to attempt to borrow some of its design principles in order to build new computing paradigms, a topic known as neuromorphic computing. Researchers from the University of Sydney and Japan's National Institute for Material Science have demonstrated that they can recreate both the structure and dynamics of the brain using a random network of nanowires to perform simple processing tasks. What makes this new sort of computer chip so intriguing is that it implies that nanowire networks may be adjusted into regimes with varied, brain-like collective dynamics, which can be used to enhance information processing. Deep neural networks can already imitate one characteristic of the brain, its densely linked network of neurons. Artificial neurons, on the other hand, vary from real neurons in that they exclusively do calculations. Neurons in the brain may also recall their prior activity, which impacts their future behavior. This built-in memory is an important part of how the brain processes information, and one of the main goals of neuromorphic engineering is to replicate it. As a result, a broad range of designs for so-called memristors have emerged, which are electrical components whose reaction is dependent on the signals they have been exposed to before. The junctions where silver nanowires overlap have memoristive characteristics, making them an attractive target for neuromorphic engineers. They also have the advantage of self-assembling into complex networks, similar to those seen in the brain, with memoristive junctions functioning as synapses between neurons. The researchers used electrical stimulation to construct a random network of nanowires 10 micrometers long and no thicker than 500 nanometers thick. The artificial neurons turned on and off as current flowed through the network, changing the path the signal followed. However, depending on the intensity of the input signal, the switching pattern varied significantly. The paths were highly ordered and predictable when the signal was low, but they were utterly chaotic when the signal was large. To see if these dynamics might be utilized for information processing, the researchers built a network simulation and attempted to teach it how to do a simple signal processing task, converting one waveform to another. They changed the amplitude and frequency of the input to see whether it affected performance, and discovered that the network performed best when the signal strength was just on the verge of driving it into chaos. This discovery is intriguing, since it has been hypothesized that the human brain also functions in this mode. Some neuroscience ideas imply that the human mind can function at the critical state, or the brink of chaos. Some neuroscientists believe that humans attain our peak brain performance in this state. Because of the connections between the wires, the AI nanowire network had these two processors as a single system, unlike typical computers where memory and CPU are separate. These physical connections functioned as switches that turned on and off based on previous responses to electrical impulses, allowing current to flow across the wires. One of the biggest advantages of this brain-like computer may be quite obvious to many. It's the fact that this will use very little energy compared to its classical counterparts. That's quite similar to how regular brain operate as the human brain only uses about 20 watts of power while being thought of as many times more complex than the biggest supercomputers we have today. That power usage advantage is going to enable much smaller devices to take advantage of advanced artificial intelligence algorithms in the future. Another intriguing discovery revealed by the researchers was that the edge of chaos condition was most effective when converting between the most different waveforms. 
This is consistent with earlier findings, implying that while the method is inefficient for basic tasks, it is particularly well suited for more complicated ones. However, these nanowire networks have a long way to go before they can match the power of the human brain. The researchers set a basic task, which has so far only been proven in a network simulation rather than the actual thing. The extent to which this edge of chaos condition is crucial to how the brain functions is also unknown. However, the findings support the idea that nanowire networks might be a potential path for replicating the brain's strong and energy-efficient processing. Neuroscientists have long proposed that the brain works as an associative memory device, and that we all have a default mode of brain activity that can be called on at any time. This mode of operation could be the main way in which the brain functions at its peak capacity. As a demonstration, the team created a network that is built up from circuits of two layers of sodium channels, usually found in the membranes of human neurons. However, their biosensors are much more fragile than human neurons, and the device did not work well without some external inputs to stir up the chaos. Nanomaterials' chemical sensitivity, mechanical flexibility, and biocompatibility properties open up new possibilities for edge computing and afferent neurons in artificial skin. Nanomaterials have considerable promise for creating neuromorphic computing systems that better imitate living brain networks, since their characteristics and decreased dimensionality closely mirror biological systems. The technology has allowed them to take a significant step in developing computer hardware that acts like neurons and synapses in the brain while still being capable of performing real-world activities. However, more effort will be required before such applications become a reality. The number of artificial neurons and synapses, as well as the depth of neural networks, must be increased by the researchers. This may be done with optical chips made with silicon technology, for example. It's hard to say in what way this type of computing will make it into the first consumer hardware, but I believe it's certainly one of the more obvious paths that artificial intelligence could take in the future. We, we have five years. I think digital superintelligence will happen in my lifetime. 100%. I think it's incredibly important that AI not be other. It must be us. And I could be wrong about what I'm saying. I'm suddenly open to ideas if anybody can suggest a, a path that's better. But I think we're really going to have to either merge with AI or be left behind. So, what is your opinion on whether or not AI will keep being powered by general processors and graphics cards, or will they soon benefit of their own specialized hardware? At what point do you believe that this specialized hardware will be necessary to make any kind of advancements in the field of AI? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.